Mr. Ho Kong Peng, Chairman, Singapore Management University, Professor Arnold Di Meyer, President, SMU, Your Excellencies, Speakers, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning. <laughs> I'm so used to work with a youth crowd, so um, the, the kind of energy we have over 30, about 30 ASEAN students here with us. So I'm going to try that again. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. Uh, it is a, it's a great pleasure to welcome you to our inaugural Society Leadership Summit. Uh, and we put that inaugural so that we can, it tells ourselves this is the first time and it's going to be going on for a while. Um, and we welcome you back to the, the Society Leadership Summit for 2016, right as we first start, okay? Um, you can probably tell from many of the staff's faces that we are pretty excited that this is happening. Uh, not because of the fact that shortly after this is all our holiday, in which we are looking forward after two years of very hard work. Uh, but rather today marks a very key milestone uh, for the journey for the Institute for Society Leadership. Um, I would like to take this moment, and you saw from the video, uh, that we're very proud to have Mr. Ratan Tata as our chairman of the advisory board. Uh, he was due to come, and he sends his apologies and his regrets. Uh, there are some health issues that he is wanting to take care of, um, so travel wasn't uh, on the radar for a while. Um, so he sends his regrets and his apologies. But what started, as an, what started purely as an idea for us to invest in a new term called societal leadership has led us over two years, this past two years, to travel to many of your countries, to 11 Southeast Asian countries, to understand from those doing good on the ground and what pressing challenges we face as a region. What innovative solutions they have been embarking on, and more importantly, what questions are not yet asked but needed to be asked. It's been two years since we first started, and I remember very well the first board meeting, and many uh, of our board members are present in that very first board meeting. I, uh, I remember that we uh, presented to them a bold plan uh, to take the region by storm. We had ideas to run large-scale conferences, large-scale youth conferences, uh, and to invite people from all over the region to participate. I remember being very proud of what we had put together uh, in the board meeting. But I also remember the advice. And the advice was this, start small, Listen to the ground, understand the needs, and take time to build. Um, in our fast-paced world of key performance indicators and quarterly reporting, uh, it was to many of us a breath of fresh air. Uh, it gave us the confidence that we are in this for the long haul because serving the region is an important work for us. So we did just that. While Asia remains our focus, we decided to start with Southeast Asia, and many of you are present here are from this region. We have conducted uh, country insight labs in all 11 Southeast Asian countries, uh, meeting over 260 society leaders from across the sectors, government, academia, media, civil society, and business sectors, just to understand the region. Um, and I'm very excited that later on, uh, Dr. Lim Lai Cheng, our academic director, will be sharing some of our insights from this research um, in terms of what we have collated uh, from these leaders in the region, and also introduce the country insight labs monograph. We have conducted interviews with elder statesmen, senior business, civil society leaders, and business and civil society leaders to collect their leadership insights and oral history uh, through our Digital Narratives of Asia initiative so that we can learn from them what worked in the past and perhaps apply them in the present. We have met many society leaders who are doing tremendous work uh, in the region uh, for the people, and many of them have become speakers here today. Um, and some of their work, very few know about. So we've started. Catalyst Asia, a magazine that goes out to the region um, to share the good that people are doing, sharing perspectives and opinions on issues facing us in this region. And in your participants' bag is our latest copy and our latest issue of Catalyst Asia. Um, and I'm also very happy to share that we, our website containing over 90 articles now uh, goes live today, and you can visit it at catalystasiastories.com. And I trust that you will visit during tea break. Now, instead of running major youth programs, uh, what we have started to do was to uh, work with just 44 high school students in our Blue Scoop program last year, and just 25 undergraduates for our Seagull program, which is a Southeast Asian global undergraduate program. With a small group, uh, we were able to go deep in many of our conversations, um, talking about key issues in this region and how, as a network of young leaders, they can create collaborative opportunities among themselves made possible by technology. And in the same vision of building networks of leaders, uh, we launched our Service for Asia Fellowship with four young working professionals who have decided to take 18 months of their life and a pause in their careers to serve this region. Um, they are deployed 
in the fellowship to another Southeast Asian country, not of their own, uh, to immerse themselves in issues and get hands-on experiences in the solutions they will uh, in the solutions. They will go back to their corporate lives with far greater understanding of the needs on the ground, with a class of fellows they can count on to do something significant together. And I could go on and on in terms of things that we are trying to build and something to learn. So we thought we'd put together a video to show you how all the various programs that ISL is wanting to do comes together. Please have a look at the screen. Hope you enjoyed that. At the end, all the efforts that we put in is to help others do good better. It's not just about doing good well, which is important, but just that little bit. What can we do as an institute in little bits, one step at a time, to help each and every one of us do good better? In these two years leading up to today, we've met incredible people. We've made incredible friends learn about the impactful work their organizations are doing, regardless of the sectors they come from. But we have also learned that the issues are often no better than they were before because fundamentally, many, many of these issues, what we call wicked problems, are complex and problems that cannot be solved by one single sector alone. We've learned that while there are many answers and solutions being explored today, there are also questions that remain to be asked. One of such questions that we will explore this day and a half is what is societal leadership? How does that matter to us? And is that the approach moving forward? In all honesty, we don't know yet. And with my bosses here, it's a bit hard to say we don't know yet. But it is a good starting point. We don't pretend to have all the answers. But at ISL, our working definition for societal leadership is the practice of creating sustainable value of impact for the betterment of society within one's largest sphere of influence. We believe that regardless of where we are, what stage of life we are in, we can create value and impact for the community around us in a sustainable manner. How will societal leadership look like being lived out in our region? What does it mean to be a societal leader? All these are questions we are continuously asking because if we can find the answer, society is far better off. We started conversations and with your partnership and contribution, I believe wholeheartedly we can find the answers. This summit is as much an exploration as a milestone for us. It marks the first time we're bringing societal leaders from across the region and sectors together with current and emerging leaders from 19 countries represented here today. There is much we can do together. A good friend and New Zealand author, Dr. Markstrom said, communication is the sharing of created meaning. Conversation is about the creating of shared meaning. We've designed the sessions as conversations. We have presentations, but we ask you as participants to have conversations with us, with the panelists, with the speakers. We hope with this approach, 
we will have greater conversation over the next two days about the many issues that matters to us. It is our dream that the summit will not just be a collection of ideas, but the collective creation of new ones. That will be, you'll be creating a shared meaning for the common good for all in this region. Have a great summit ahead. I hope we will make your time both impactful and meaningful. Thank you very much.